face. Hello everyone, my name is Jerky, and today I'll be bringing you with another Move Studio tutorial. Uh, this time I'll be teaching you how to remove green screens from videos and photos and also cover up anything that might be in, uh, in front of your green screen like a, a light or a camera. So let's get straight into it with this uh, light bulb here. Uh, let's let the light bulb uh, represent uh, maybe a light or a, or a ladder in front of your uh, green screen. So what you want to do is uh, go to media generators and uh, you ha it'll be on checkerboard, so you want to click on solid color and bring green across. But well, you'll find out in a minute that it doesn't really matter which color you choose, because um, we'll be changing it anyway. But so make sure you're clicking on both the green, like your time uh, meter would be on the green and the light bulb. Sometimes I click out personally, click out here, and it takes me about a good 10 minutes to realize why my screen is black. So make sure you're on here. And you want to go vent pan across for the green and just make it a bit smaller, which is exactly like we did in the first tutorial um, using Event Pan Crop. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out. Um, so yeah, so at the moment it looks pretty obnoxious, You want, uh, so we'll be fixing that. So you want to go uh, Generate a Media and click Color. And of course you could always spend time trying to like fiddle with the color, trying to get it perfect. But a much faster way to do it would be Color Dropper and click Surrounding and BAM! Obviously it's not perfect, you can always try and make it lighter and make it look perfect, but that's pretty much as good as you're going to get. So yeah, that's that's going to stay there until of course it runs out and it works exactly the same for, photo, uh, for videos, I mean, sorry. Um, you might want to animate it or make it move uh, for the video, but for a photo or a still image, that's, that's how it'll stay until of course... Uh, until of course it runs out, but you can always just extend that. So uh, that's done. Moving on to the next one would be removing green screens. So we have our trustworthy drop it like a hot Snoop Dogg dance. Um, this seems like something that'd be really difficult, but it's not once you know how to do it. It's super easy. All you need to do is go video effects or click event effects, but either way you'll be looking for chroma key and uh, for green screen, and literally that's pretty much it. Um, you do need to fiddle with these a bit, but we'll get onto that in a sec. Um, so we'll bring over a photo and we'll move this up because we want this above the photo. Uh, bring this under. And as you can see, oops, that is not what I wanted to press. Uh, as you can see, Snoop Dogg is dancing. Um, you may not be able to see it now, but if you if I move him, you can see there's still a purple border. So what you want to be doing is event effects. Make sure you're on chroma key, which you should be. And uh, just move low threshold up a bit, but not too much. You take out Snoop Dogg's face. And uh, high threshold down just increases the brightness a bit. So now you can have him dancing away. Maybe in an MLG montage, you can have millions of them dancing around. But uh, that's basically it. Um, obviously in Chroma Kia you would use a different one depending on which one. Um, I suppose it just changes the settings for uh, for the thresholds. But that's basically it today. Uh, if you found this helpful or enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys soon. Really quickly before we go, um, I mentioned that you might have a million of them. And this is something I prepared earlier. <laughs> I don't know how laggy it's going to be though. Oh dearie me. Alright. You might want to go draft uh, draft quarter when watching this. You can barely even see it. But you get the idea. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.